Hi everyone, I just want to keep updating you on the things that are happening here at Living Faith, even when we're not all here together to see it. And I promise you, there's still a lot of things that are going on. Uh, a lot of ministry still continues to happen. But I want to encourage you right off of the bat to mark on your calendars April 29th at 7 p.m. We're going to have a congregational town hall meeting via Zoom. And that link will be in this email on my Facebook, the church Facebook. It'll be on Realm. It'll be in all of those places. So make sure that you participate in that on April 29th at 7 p.m. Because it's a great way for you to interact and ask questions about the things that we're talking about. And it'll be longer than these short little videos that I put together just to update you. It'll be a little bit more in-depth. So please make sure that you're able to participate and worship with us on Sunday mornings as well. Uh, the numbers and participation we've had has been fantastic. And our Bible studies too, the noon Bible study on Wednesday, uh, all of the, the ladies' men's Bible studies. And we're even going to be adding a Bible study in a little bit. And that Bible study, I'm planning on starting the first Sunday in May. I'm actually going to talk about some quarantined biblical experiences. So whether that's Noah and his family on the ark or Paul imprisoned, there's lots of different accounts of, of people being removed from their normal social circles and feeling imprisoned. So uh, we're going to be talking about those things. That Bible study is going to be from 8.15 until 9.15 live Sunday mornings before worship. So again, you can get your Bible study, your worship in just like you normally would do here at Living Faith. And I encourage you to be doing that. I encourage you to uh, continue those routines that you've always had, the patterns of behavior. Keep that discipline up. And honestly, this might be a good time for you to begin some of those disciplines. If you weren't ever a Bible study and worship person on Sunday morning, now is a great time. You, you have the time. Uh, you're at home anyways <laughs> on a Sunday morning. It's real easy to do. And I also just encourage you to know that the ministry is still happening here at Living Faith. Uh, our teachers are still reaching out and connecting with their, their kids, the parents. Uh, there's chapel that happens every single week. It's, it's just been really cool that little friends and Living Faith continue to do the work uh, the, of the kingdom. Now, there's going to be some things that have to change. Uh, the way we come back and how we record our worship services and stream them as we get back together. But we're going to talk more in depth on those things on that Wednesday evening, April 29th at 7 p.m. And again, if you can't make that, we'll record it. We'll, we'll post it out in those places as well. But I do want to encourage you. Uh, this is a time to build some of these spiritual disciplines, to connect with people through these technologies, and to actually not socially distance physically distance. I've always thought that's kind of a strange thing that, that we call it social distance when in reality it's the physical distance. We still want to be social people. We still want to connect uh, and we have all of these tools available to us to do so. So stay spiritually and socially connected to living faith by watching our worship services online, by communicating with us, by, by participating in Bible studies and reading the Bible, uh, all of that stuff. Keep doing that because that's, that's what's going to give us the hope that whether we return to normal soon or whether we return to normal ever, we still have this same God who's given to us the same task of not only loving our God first and foremost, but loving our neighbor. And to know him, to seek him, to understand him better, the things that we do, these things still remain. And they have, they have survived previous pandemics and world wars and civil wars and the church remains. I promise you, Living faith isn't going anywhere. God's kingdom is not going anywhere. He has given to us the gift of the ministry to do. It still goes on. And I'm actually pretty excited about the number of people who I've been communicating with and reaching out to and connecting with. This is actually, I think, one of the, the most exciting times in ministry that we're forced to do all of these things. So instead of looking at it in terms of I'm forced to stay home or I'm forced to this or I'm forced to that, Let's look for the opportunities in the middle of that to say, now, now is the time to take the opportunity to invest in my family, to invest in friendships and relationships, to reach out to other people, to worship God, and to love and serve our neighbor. So, till next time, uh, keep up the faith, keep up doing the work of the kingdom, keep participating and connecting with us at Living Faith, and I cannot wait to see you all face-to-face -face again as soon as possible.